hitting the way on the leg side. It was a bit of a slog, but he's middle it and he's hit it for six. Very effective shot from Alan Knott, hitting with the spin. Very nice late cut by Alan Mott, most jauntily and characteristically played, a shot he loves to execute. Brings him to 33 and England to 196. Bady bowling to Knott, who hits him away on the leg side. And it's four runs, and the England total now, 199 for six, not 38. Not another single down to Midoff for the 200 up. He went through with the shot. He didn't really quite get to the pitch of it. Really spirited strokes, four runs straight. <laughs> Often bid on two thirds of the way back. He can have one almost where he wants. So there's his 50. 50 for Alan Knott, 75 minutes. What a really tremendous innings. And, well, no praise can be too high for him, for England, the way they've played this game here at the Oval today. Beautiful shot, use his feet. Made that into a half volley, powered it away between cover and middle. Four more runs to make. It's put away square again by Knott, drop short, four more runs. Alan Knott, one of the best cutters in the first-class game of cricket. Hardly likely to miss out on a ball like that. So 46 of Alan Knott's 86 runs have come in boundaries. Uh, might well be another one, yes, that's going to beat long leg. Flicked away. Takes Knott onto 90. The other milestone there is a 100 partnership between these two. 276 for six now. They came together. The fall of Illingworth's wicket at 175. He's done it. He's out. Horton bowled Solka. He hit a little too soon at that and gave Solka a very easy one. Let's see how he got out here. Just short of a half volley, hitting a little too soon. Driving the ball gently back to Solka. Yes, that 90 of Knox, in fact, was accomplished in under two hours, just 117 minutes. These are the cards of the early part of the game. England, 355, with Jameson making 82, Knott got 90, and Richard Hutton made 81. Now at uh, 114 for two, railing with the bowler. Always bowl him, and it turned, pushing forward, and the leg stump knocked out. Sardesai bowled by an off spinner from Ray Illingworth, and so it's not to be a hundred partnership. The third wicket down, and Sardesai out for 54.
and playing over it, and he's played on off the bottom edge. I think that came off the bat onto the leg stump. Yes, I'm sure it came off the bat. Unfortunately for Vichy, he moved up the wicket, and by doing so, he made the ball into a Yorker. And that is out, caught by Hutton at slip. Wadiker is out for 48. The ball reaching Hutton off Alan Knott's gloves. So that's a third wicket for Ray Illingworth. A third wicket in his 14th over and the splendid figures of 3 for 18. Off the edge, and it's caught, beautifully caught at second slip by Fletcher. What a lovely catch. So Dolivera has done the trick again as a change bowler. It's not to be the 100 partnership. That really was a beauty by Fletcher. Then India, 284, a useful lead of 71, so far as England were concerned. Five for 70 for Raymond Illingworth. Derek Underwood took one for 49, and three wickets shared between John Snow and John Price. We join play now in England's second innings. It's 24 for one. The one man out is John Jameson, very unluckily run out at the bowler's end by deflection from Chandrasekhar. Here now is John Edridge facing the same bowler. Oh! Middle and off. So here we were a few minutes ago saying that England were establishing a comfortable base. And John Edrich now. It looks as if he's playing this ball on the onside or round the corner, in fact. Playing inside it. Well, this is an uncomfortable period for Keith Fletcher. Just three balls to go before lunch. He's gone. That unpaired. Caught by Solkar. What an over from Chandra. That must be lunch. What a remarkable game this cricket is. Three wickets gone in a flash, and India riding high. So Chandra coming in from the Vauxhall end. And Fletcher just nudging forward there. And it must have been a deflection off the inside edge of the bat onto the pad, and there goes Salkar to take a nice low catch. Well, it's gone up in the air and it should be a catch and very easily and comfortably taken by substitute fieldsman Giant. Never in any trouble at all. But trouble now for England with Basil Oliveira falling with a score at 49. Looking to hit Venkat over the top, bowling without anybody on the fence, but much too high. So this is the end of Oliveira. is out, he's caught, back and bad, a fine catch, Alan Nod is out, Salk has done it again, diving in from that forward short leg position. And Alan Nott, no hesitancy at all there, didn't wait for an umpire's decision or a bowler's appeal, he walked straight out. So still these three short legs hovering just a few yards away from Illingworth, silly mid-off. And he's caught and bowled. Full toss, driven straight back at Chandrasekhar. We were completely blinded initially with Illingworth between the ball, but we can see it again. Chandrasekhar, full toss. We delivered straight back at him. So his third wicket. Venkat at slip, and look at Chandra. 
What a day. What a day for India. Short of a length outside the off stump. And Brian Luckhurst cutting the ball. And then you see this really magnificent catch because it goes so quickly. Just as the England captain went, so now John Snow. Caught and bowled, chipping the half volley straight back. Two wickets in the over, and the second, this is how it happened. Similar to Ray Illingworth's dismissal, driving the half volley uppishly straight back to Chandra. He's hit it away up Ashley, and it could be out. He's caught. <laughs> Underwood is caught by Mankad. A nice running catch. He had about 10 yards, 15 yards to run in. Took it very well indeed. Now you'll see the Underwood hoik round to square leg and Mankad running in a long distance, catching it very low down. It really was a first class catch. Chandra Seker being brought back for number 11, John Price. So the English overall lead, 172. As Chandrasekha comes into price. And he's out LBW. England could have done with a few more from these last two, and Hutton remains 13 not out. Does my heart good to see spinners controlling the game in that fashion. England all out for 101. A tremendous performance from those Indian spin bowlers. The batting, nothing very distinguished there. Luckhurst made 33. Jameson unlucky to be out for 16. And Dolavira 17. But uh, the spinners were on top throughout. Chandrasekhar, 6 for 38 from 18.1 overs and three maidens. Uh, we pick up play now in the Indian second innings. They needed 173 to win. An historic win in view. And Gavaskar is facing Jon Snow. Two runs on the board. Yes, he's out. A most remarkable misjudgment by Gavaska. And umpire Charlie Elliott had no doubt at all. The finger came up straight away. So. Well, Gavaska plays no stroke. He thinks it's obviously going down the leg side. Just stands where he is, lets it hit him. A bad leg stump. a superb catch provided it carried yes it did carry that was really a brilliant catch by Hutton as we said repeatedly what a wonderful series he's having in the slips yes, that really was the most marvelous catch Mankhead here pushing forward and the ball going very low to his left and you can see they're picking it up just off the ground wonderful catch Coming through for a single. Good throw and he's out. Wadika run out. And really, that was a wicket thrown away by the Indians. Absolutely no need for him to take it again. Superb throw by Dolivera right over the top. So, sensational start here. The captain Wadika responding there to Sardisai's call. Great throw by Dolivera right over the top. Just the one slip, Mr. Limidoff now. Certainly tossed high, and a brilliant catch there by Alan Knott. And that slow bowl, by paying really good dividends, changes tactics, toss it up, turn, and he's got the wicket. Vital wicket, of course. Sardisai out for 40. See again this one tossed high, and he's not tossed anything as high as that through the innings. The ball turning. Would probably not have made slip, so Alan not quite justified in going for it and grabbing hold of it.
That's it. Gorton bowled. Alan Mott applauding, hands above his head, coming up, breathing smiles. 134 for five. Underwood pitching it up in the rough. You see the ball turning back there. Underwood nonchalantly taking it there with the left hand. All the way along the line. There's been terrific tension in that dressing room all morning but they're relieved now because they're just three runs away from the first victory ever against England on English soil. Oh, really, no question now. Still five wickets remaining. Three runs wanted. And he's out. And that's just the sort of discretion, indiscretion, committed by little Vishwanath. He'll be disappointed, but he's seen his sight to within three runs of victory. He's made 33 noble runs. Defend it stoutly. But unfortunate for him, he's not going to be there at the end. But he's cut that away, and that's going to be it. It's going through for the boundary. Nobody bothering to chase it. Abidali cutting Luckhurst away for four and giving India victory here in the Oval Test match. 174 for six, a victory to the tour inside by four wickets. There were some nerve-tingling moments there for the Indian batsmen as they inched their way towards uh, that target, 173 to win, and they finished up with 174 for six. 45 to Wadika, the skipper, Sardesai made 40 and Vishwanath 33, 28 not out to Farouk Engineer just at the right time when uh, a little bit of aggression was just what was needed. Derek Underwood, 3 for 72, 38 overs and 14 maidens from him. Ray Ellingworth didn't take a wicket after his five in the first innings. And India, an historic victory in their 22nd test match against England in England. And that dates way back to 1932. <laughs>